Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. Last time we were in this cave and um, I guess I guess it stays open so that we can find that golem later but I decided not to buy that ring I was looking at. Let's grab this party banter. Tell us about Starcave and Choir Boy. I'm sure we're all burning with curiosity about your faraway land. My faraway land? It's inland free marches, not on the moon. Huh. And here I was hoping. It's a lot like here, but fewer dead people. Well, you don't have Hawk. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Um, we're gonna go by Fenris's mansion and go get those chests. I'm gonna talk to Fenris and I'm going to take the rivalry. Alright, I talked to Fenris and I took the rivalry points and we'll see uh, where we go from there. Let's leave. Eric, Eric, open that for me. Thank you. Eric, open that please. Ooh, I might like that. Last one. Go open that. Oh. Yay! Alright, let's get out of here. It's been very exciting working with Hawk. Are you for real? It seems like she's involved every time something goes wrong in Kirkwall. I've never had so many opportunities to help people. All right. I thought I was getting tired of Moody. I take it back. You're making my teeth ache. Varric. All right, so last time I tried talking to Anders, I felt a little overwhelmed with all of our options, but I'm going to try it again. See if I can't feel out what um, what works well and is in character. And that will uh, stop the itch. Yes. Though I would stay away from women you meet in the port. Pirates tend to dock in unsavory places. I heard that. Nice. Just use the salve if it comes back. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. Were they after you? The Templars are hunting you. Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. How are you doing? We haven't talked much recently. How have you been? Good. I just love what Knight Commander Meredith's done with the place. The curfews. The midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. And how are you handling it? Is that making it harder for you? With justice? In the Fade, there is no time. Emotion rules everything. Justice doesn't know how to sit idle until the right moment to strike. And I can't say I have any greater patience. I fear what my anger has made of my friend. Just stay in control. You chose to merge with him. Only you can make it work. I am trying. I know. I have not attacked the Templars openly. I've helped the mages here as best I can. But this impasse cannot last. Just being with me puts you at risk. The Knight Commander has declared supporting apostates a hanging offense. The thought of them hurting you. Everything I've done to control this. I don't care. I would drown us in blood to keep you safe. Um, uh, I... <laughs> Romantic? You don't think we should start with flowers? Jewelry? <laughs> If that's the man you're looking for, you're in the wrong place. There will be more violence. I know that. If you tie yourself to me, 
I'll only hurt you. <laughs> promises, promises. You keep saying that. You haven't yet. You could have a normal life. You don't want to be with an apostate. Don't tempt me. Not unless you're ready for what that means. Alright, that is a lot of friendship. I think... I think I'm happy with that conversation. Okay. The Templars have become more active in their hunt for me. I won't be able to stay here long. The Templars have okay. become more active in their hunt for me. I won't be able to stay here long. All right, le I have to leave. There are no jobs in the sea. Only that. Is this getting you any closer to your ship? Huh? I just don't understand why you're working with Hawk. You don't seem to care about anything we do. What's keeping you here? Mostly the blooming rose. I'm paid up to the end of the year. I'd hate not to use it. <laughs> the brothel? What? Women can't go to brothels too? You're just not using your imagination. Oh, look. Now you are. You're cute when you're blushing. <laughs> All right, I want... Well, actually, I'm going to go back home. Aha, we have somebody at home. Aveline, haven't we already talked? Ah, you've returned. Everything's quiet here in the mansion for the moment. Well, thank you, Bodan. Did you ever run the wilds, boy? Kirkwall is no city for a breed used to open spaces. Nice as your estate is, it's not healthy for a Mabari to be cooped up. <laughs> May I take him to the barracks time to time? He could help train my guards. That sounds excellent. I'm sure he'll enjoy that. Thanks for the offer. Good. I think it's time they face down a good old Mabari charge. <laughs> How about it, boy? Want to chew on some recruits? <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> uh. Those elves you're friends with, they're rather strange, aren't they? They are. They definitely are. Those elves you're yes. friends with, they're rather... Nothing new. Strange, aren't they? All right, let's leave. All right, let's do... What's next? Hanged man? Let's do the hanged man. Um, Isabella. Isabella, you look well. Are you talking about the flush on my cheeks? <laughs> it must be the whiskey. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? Yes. I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Are you sure? Isn't that what you said last time? Oh, you mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes that turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. <laughs> it could have contained the relic. Uh. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. Eh, we're gonna flirt. Do I get a kiss from the feisty temptress when I present her with the hard-won prize? If you want, I'll even let you choose where I plant it. <laughs> Friendship. Can I talk to her again? Have you ever been out in the open ocean in a storm? It's the best feeling in the world. Sounds terrifying. <laughs> I don't think I would like it. Seekers of truth. Oh, hey! Sir Whitmore, when I mentioned powers greater than the Templars, I didn't mean the Chantry. Sure, they command the Templars, but that was not always so. The Inquisition once hunted heretics and cultists, as well as mages, and their reign of terror ended only with the inception of the Circle of Magi. They became the Templar Order, for good or ill, the Watchers of the Mages and the martial arm of the Chantry. It was a mutually beneficial arrangement, but few know that the Chantry created yet another order to watch over the Templars, the Seekers of Truth. I know little of them myself, but I can say the following things with certainty. They serve the Divine and they are feared. When a Seeker steps from the shadows, Templars run for cover, because why would he come unless the Templars somehow failed in their duties? 
Seekers are extremely effective investigating abuses within the circle and hunting particularly evasive apostates. It's said they are immune to a blood mage's mind control and possess the ability to read minds or erase memories, but this is likely exaggeration. So we return to my original dilemma. Who watches power is greater than that of the Templars? One assumes it's the divine. But how much could she know about their ac activities when their very existence is a mystery to most? Letter from Unknown Priest. So, a little bit of information about the woman invariating Varric right now. Mm, here's Ravane. Those Kunari are still waiting for a ship. Can you believe it? What's it been now? Four years. <laughs> At least. They're either lying about wanting to leave or they have very, very slow boats. <laughs> oh. Nowhere in my travels, not in the heart of the Imperium nor the streets of Orzammar, have I felt so much an outsider as in Ravain. The chant of light never truly reached the ears of these people. The years they spent under the thumb of the Kunari left most of the country zealots followers of the Kuhn. But resistance to the chant goes deeper than the Kunari war. The Ravani refuse to be parted from their seers, wise women who are in fact hedge mages, communicating with spirits and actually allowing themselves to become possessed. The Chantry prohibition against such magical practices violates millennia of local tradition. A little bit of Isabella's homeland. What are you doing, Sir Roderick? Anyone knows Sir uh, Karen? Has he uh, done anything wrong? What? Anyone knows, uh, okay, I don't want to talk to you. Varric. Ooh, I'm going to save. What? What are you doing in here? Hi, Varric. Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Aww. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you, you must have plans. Politics, I want a title. I'm just taking care of my family. No plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. After everything that happened with Bethany, that's probably good thinking. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. I can do good here. I could never leave you. What would I do without my trusty dwarf? I'd cry myself to sleep without you. <laughs> oh, don't get all teary-eyed on me, Hawk. You know I can't stand to see a human cry. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? Yep. I like that. We'll keep it. This is the best tavern in Kirkwall. It could use some cute dwarven serving girls, but otherwise, it's perfect. Hmm. What is on the wall? Huh. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna poke around here. There's something. Take that. Is Martin still here? I don't know. Maybe this wasn't his room. Ooh, mace. Our friend will not be in here. Oh, Varric, I need you. <laughs> there you don't are. Don't ingest the merchandise. <laughs> it's not recommended. I understand. He's got a bow. Chance to stun. That's nice. Do I want it? Do I want it? I do. Rogue armor requires dexterity. Nope. And there's all of his poisons. Need a little special something for that special someone. <laughs> And give me that.
Was I in here? I was in here. I need Varric. Varric, Varric, Varric. Doesn't know that you oh know my that God. he knows that you know you know. What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you two are having a good chat. You're having fun, Varric. Oh my God. Okay, so Anders is almost locked. That's a good place for him to be. Varric is almost locked, and Isabel is getting there. Okay, let's get this chest open. Those Kunari are still waiting for a ship. <laughs> Were you listening to that guy in the hanged man last night? Your eyes are like bumblebees flying into the window of my soul. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite was your lips are like the wings of sparrows, red ones with no feathers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speak and send the plucked wings of your lips soaring. <laughs> I'd buy the guy a drink, but I don't think he needs one. Oh, goodness. You again. Hold on. My mother used to say that there are a lot more pages now than when she was a child. I doubt that. I think it's the lyrium in the water. Oh, goodness. <sighs> Where? It's over here. Varric! Varric, come help! Not you. I don't think you can open that. Easy. Cake. Ooh, a rogue ring! Alright, um, we're gonna continue the trend of going back to our house to see if friends came to visit. So, this is where you live. Not bad. I preferred the old place. It had, uh, more charm. It had charm. I clicked the button. You're talking about the shack I shared with my mother, uncle, and sister. I meant Lowtown. Dirty, chaotic, glorious Lowtown. The smell of tar and the sea and the sound of some whore plying her trade in a back alley. Oh. Don't you miss that? <laughs> There's excitement here. I never noticed. Not really, no. No, I don't. Bad smells and awful noises. Why would I miss that? <laughs> because it adds character to a place, you goose. <laughs> High town's nice enough, I suppose, for people who like clean streets and polite neighbors. But we're not like those people, are we? We play by our own rules. Speaking of playing, why don't we go off and have a little bit of girly fun? Okay. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Bella has the best sex scene. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Thank you. I should go. I wouldn't want to take advantage of your hospitality. That's not a problem. I like it when you take advantage of my hospitality. It was fun, wasn't it? Well, you know, if you ever want to do it again... Wait, you're not thinking of bringing feelings into this, are you? Of course not. <laughs> no, this was just for fun. Good. Come see me at the tavern sometime. I know a cozy little nook behind the ale barrels. Okay, I, unfortunately, I like to keep that in my own 
personal head cannon, but I have to reload. Speaking of playing, why don't we go off and have a little bit of girly fun? That's not a good idea. Suit yourself. I'll just get my giggles elsewhere. No hard feelings. So the reason I have to do that and I can't keep the other instance is that the game puts you in a romance with her even though I chose the dialogue option that it was just for fun. It didn't have the broken heart option so it actually the game keeps you locked into a romance with Isabella until you have the opportunity to break up with her. So uh, if you want to continue a romance with someone else it creates issues. So I have to reload and turn her down so that I can continue pursuing other romances. Um, but in my head canon, in my head canon, it happened. The game won't recognize it, but it happened. Hey, puppy. You're a good boy. You take good care of us, don't you? Want some pets? I bet you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good boy. Aww. <laughs> She's a good boy. I don't have anything to say. This yes, 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 yes. Alright, we're leaving. We talked with Farrick and Isabella. We need to go talk to Meryl. So let's go talk to Meryl. Meryl. Have you heard from your sister? Is she settling in all right with the circle? You're concerned about her? I thought you and Bethany didn't get along. Why are you worrying over her? I'd be terrified in her shoes, surrounded by strangers, watched all the time. We didn't always agree, but she's a sweet girl. I would never wish that fate on anyone. Aww. She seems okay. Our mother checks on her frequently. She seems to be adjusting. Maybe it's nice for her to finally live without hiding. She's strong. If anyone can get through this, she can. Don't blame yourself. I blame the Templars. No. I blame myself. If I'd gotten home sooner, she might still be free. Once the Templars knew, nothing you could have done would have saved her. Things will be all right, somehow. I appreciate that, Meryl. Oh, and I have a gift for her. I've got something for you. Ooh. Did you get this from Master Island? I did. Mythal, did I? Miss some important occasion? I'm so sorry, I'll make it up to you, I promise. You didn't forget anything. <laughs> There's no occasion, Meryl. I just thought you'd like it. I, I do like it. I'm sorry I'm making a mess of this. No one has ever given me a present before. Useful things. Tools or clothes. Because I needed them, not... Just because. Maseranus. I'll find a good place for this. Hmm. Oh, friendship plus 15. By the dread wolf. Why is my house always such a mess when people are here? It's clean sometimes, I swear. It looks fine, Meryl. It looks fine. Um, let me check. So she's not totally up there. Keep checking on it. Let's... Uh, we have talked to everybody, I think. Yeah, so... Night terrors. Do we want to do that right now? Ariani. So you're a prince, Whoa. are you? That is apparently true. There's doubt. I've. Um. The entitled types are always trouble. In that case, I'm glad I don't count myself as one. They never do. 
<laughs> Ariane. I was hoping you'd come. You did so much for my Fenriel already, but... I visited him among the people, but he turned me away. I know the demons still plague him. And now they've taken him. Two days ago, Fenriel went into a nightmare and hasn't returned. A nightmare? He can't be woken up. The Keeper says he is near death. His lips still fog a mirror, but that is all. Has anyone gone after him? Surely there are mages who can pursue him in the Fade. I have contacted Keeper Marathari. The Dalish have an ancient ritual that might help. But it requires someone Fainreal trusts to enter the Fade to free him. And you would like my help to do that? This is hardly my area of expertise, but is there anything I can do? Marith Harry is coming to perform the ritual that will bring Fainreal back. His childhood things here will help anchor him. The Fade is a place for mages, not for people like you and I. Enter the Fade? Hawk, don't do this. The Golden City was corrupted from such folly. I've already called for the Keeper. We need to begin the ritual as quickly as possible. Would you like to stay here or return when she arrives? I'll stay here. This is too urgent to delay. You have been far kinder than I had any right to expect. I came quickly, Ariane. I did not wish to tell you by letter how grave your son's situation is. The magic he possesses makes him what the Tevinters called Somniari, a dreamer. Dreamers have the power to control the beyond, what humans call the Fade. Fainreel is the first in two ages to survive. First to survive? Now, oh. what is the beyond? Is there a difference between the Beyond and the Fade? They are the same. By either name, the Fade is the realm of spirits, Thedas' heart. While the mortal realm is its strong arm. The demons who live there covet the bodies of mortals and seek to possess them. Only mages ever touch the Fade in a waking state. Others see it in dreams. What do you mean... What is a dreamer? What can a dreamer do? Dreamers are unique for their ability to enter the Fade at will. Without the aid of Lyrium. In the Fade, they can shape dreams. And even affect the world beyond the Veil. Tevinter Somniari used to enter the minds of sleepers. And slay them in their dreams. What do you mean Fenril's the first to survive? Why are they so rare? Dreamers have great power in the Fade. They attract demons. Luckily, most prove too frail of mind to survive a demon's possession. A dreamer abomination would be near unstoppable. What... What is this ritual that you want done? What exactly are we going to do here? The Elves of the Dales were experts in the Somniari Arts. They could even help those with no power enter the Fade. I have done my best to recreate the ritual. We will use Fainreel's childhood home as a focus to draw him back through the Veil. 
<laughs> well, give me coin. Now let's let's start. Let's do this. Just send me into the fade. I told you our courage was legendary. <laughs> now, Ariani, please excuse us. We must prepare. Oh, of course. There is more, I must tell you, that is not for her ears. About her son. Is Fainreal in danger? Indeed. And the danger may not come from what you think. Fainreal cannot become an abomination. The destruction he would cause is unimaginable. If you cannot save him from the demons, you must kill him yourself. A death in the Fade will make him what your circle calls Tranquil. He will be no threat after. Damn. Ah. Uh, eh. I understand. I will not let him become a danger. I wish you luck. Now, gather a team, and we will begin. Choose carefully, for all will face temptation. I cannot join you in this. The Fade is no place for men of faith. I can't imagine what aid I could offer in a realm of dreams and magic. I have no desire to explore the Fade, but if you need me, I will go. Let us begin. All right. Um, so Sebastian will not go. Fenris was sweet. Um, we're going to take Anders and Meryl and Isabella. Oh, that was bright. I had not thought to return in such a way. Um, it is good to feel the breath of the Fade again, not the empty air of your world. Anders? You look different. Oh, goodness. I am Justice. Anders has told you of me. Come. I sense Fainwheel's mind straining. We will not have much time. Okay. Um, we're gonna have to end this episode here. And, ooh, continue after Fainreel. Um, next time. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Social media links in the description. And thanks for watching.